Hello, let me show you what I've done. We're going to build another rocket launch facility. Just a, a little, little teeny rocket testing facility back in the 50s. And there it is. But we need a supply of fuel in order to actually launch our rockets. So let's go ahead and build a supply of fuel. Which can be done by putting in a fuel base and then some fuel pipes. Now you can see it's operational. Well, it might be best to wall it in. It's a, a little bit dangerous to... Um, to just have a random rocket launches without any walls near them. All right, so from here we can put in the workshops we're going to need. We're only going to need two this time, uh, and the reason for that is because we're going to use much bigger, better workshops than we did before. So the workshops we used to use were these guys. These guys produce very, very, very tiny rockets. Um, but they don't require any electricity. Well, we now have the ability to create electricity, so let's use these guys. These workshops are significantly better. And for electrical power, let's build ourselves an electrical station and then use some electrical cords to hook it up. There you go. Now they're operational. We're also going to want some interior space for our workers. And uh, that's just a matter of building like this. And then we can put in some doors if we would like some light. Uh, haven't found any good window packs yet, still waiting on that. But we're going to want a cubicle, a mailing desk, and a normal desk. There we go. So the way we hook these things up is we drive these guys over to the rocket pad, which means that they will produce rockets for that pad. And then the pad will produce observations for this cubicle. The cubicle will collate and annotate and then send all those observations over to the scientist. The scientist will write the paper and send it out through the mail desk. And now we can accelerate and watch it happen. So you can see that the rocket launch is now happening. And it's taking quite a while to launch the rocket. And when it gets launched, it gets sent over here and gets uh, annotated. So once it's annotated enough, it gets sent down to the scientist who begins to process it into a paper. And this is fun. Um, last time the paper produced this way was worth 19 points. I think we'll find that this one's worth a little bit more. Uh, uh, it went too fast. I need to change that so it doesn't do that. Uh, size 50. So it's almost the same size as the paper we uh, did when we did our super uber slow setup where we reprocessed all the observations, if you remember that. We can still do that if we want. I'm sure we could get our paper up to 100 or maybe even 150 using that. But there's no real reason to. I just wanted to show you how far we'd come.